Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the lesson three. Today we are going to define an important topic. The topic is about amphibians and reptiles. We are going to define if they are similar or not. And if they are similar, why? And if they are different, why? The different characteristic between amphibians and reptiles. This is the topic of the lesson three. Let's go. So, uh, the theory said that uh, I'm not going to read too much, right? Reptile or amphibian is a question. Reptile or amphibian. How are reptiles and amphibians similar to and different from one another? A large brownish green frog, for example, sits on the rock with only its eyes above the water. A small green lizard suns itself on a log. At first glance, at, at first glance, it's like we are going to see what's going to see what's going to happen. You might think that these two animals are related, but they have much in common. Yes. Amphibians and reptiles are very similar, but the frog and the lizard are member of two separate families. Animals like frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders are called amphibians. Snake, lizard, turtles, alligators, and crocodiles are, are all reptiles, both amphibians. And reptiles are called blood, unlike mammals. This doesn't actually mean that their blood is cold. It just means that they can make their own body heat. Instead of, instead they get their heat from the air, water or ground of the sun, right? So, very similar, right? Okay, the theory said that amphibians and reptiles are very similar right but something that i want to explain is that some reptiles some amphibians make something or involve something with the name metamorphosis what is metamorphosis metamorphosis is a process of change of one animal right and the metamorphosis uh, evolve or convert the amphibian in reptiles. Other difference between reptiles and amphibian is the body, right? The reptiles are bigger, right? Bigger than the amphibian. Other characteristic is the skin, right? The skin is very different from amphibian because the amphibian needs to be like super fast, in the reptile, the skin is like very different, right? With the scales, right? So pay attention. I told you about the metamorphosis, right? Some animals obviously are reptiles because living on the land and are cold blood, but the others live in the water, right? This is the different. But this is another example. Look at the picture about metamorphosis. Start with egg, embryon, then like small salamanders, right? Swim in the water and live only in the water. If you put a salamander out, it's going to die. Need to be our uh, inside the water. In this moment, in here, it's only one amphibian because if you put it outside, it's going to die. So it's not going to be a reptile. When this process finish and convert an adult frog can survive out on the land and is a reptile. I don't know if you understand, but always is most of the characteristics of the frog is that it is a amphibian. The skin is super, super different, right? Como más lisita. Uh, look at the example, right? Salamander and then convert in a frog. Super different, that characteristic of the metamorphosis. Other insect that have in the metamorphosis is the butterfly, right? 
The butterfly started with like a small ball with the name. It's an insect, right? It's like a worm. And then in some days, weeks or months, explode and convert in a butterfly. So the name of this is metamorphosis. Let's read a little bit about the theory. Amphibians are much, uh, much more tied to the water than reptiles. Uh -huh, obviously, right? This is because the skin needs to stay moist. It doesn't have fur or feathers to protect it. So it can dry or easily. Even the eggs of the amphibians need to stay moist. They are soft and have a jelly like coating. What does it mean moist? Look in the dictionary. It's related with wet, right? If they were left in the sun, the wool uh, they will quickly dry out and wool wouldn't catch. Is that I told you, right? If you put a baby in the sun, it's going to be in troubles. The amphibians, babies, or eggs, or like salamanders. Only in this case, the frogs is not going to survive. So reptiles' skin, right? This is the different, is dry and tough. It is covered in scales that help keep moisture in. Most reptile eggs have a hard shell, so they don't need to be laid in the water. The reptiles is more uh, strong in dry parts. For example, deserts, right? When the young are born, they look like tiny versions of their parents. They do not go through the same stages of change. For example, look at the picture, right? It's different uh, reptiles and amphibians. Obviously, amphibians live in the water, living on the land. Reptiles uh, are only in the land. Some reptiles can live in the water. But the skin, the body, and most of the characteristics is designed more for to stay in the desert and cold areas. Sorry, hot areas. Sorry, I confused. So, there are, look at the difference between. Look, there are more than 6,000 species of amphibian and 7,000 species of reptiles. Right, so this is other important information. Let's answer the classwork. Uh, the classwork is super easy. Your name, don't forget to write your name. A top pole is a young frog, right? Like a salamander. Before the top pole become an adult, it will have to, option A, go through a metamorphosis, hibernate, hibernate, learn how to swim, lay eggs, Super easy. The topic is the metamorphosis. I have a ah, characteristic. Pay attention. Number two. I have dry, scaly skin. Ooh, I live in the desert. Ooh, my eggs have hard shells. Ooh, and my babies look just like me. I am. Ooh, option A, amphibian. Option B, reptile. Option C, mammal. Or not enough information. It's obviously right. The answer is easy, right? Uh, write your name on the lines below. How do cold blood animals get body heat? Hey, hey, how? From the sun, from the air, from the deserts, from the hot parts. The heat can be. From the ground, right? From the ground when it's hot. Super easy. How is the skin of a one amphibian different from that one reptile? Super easy, right? Remember, dry, wet, right? Rug, moist. Pay attention. Uh, the, number one, number two. Pay attention to this. Scientists believe that reptiles evolved from amphibians. It's true. Explain how reptiles are better sweet to life on land than amphibians are. Again, the skin, the sides, 
Remember, the, the reptiles, for example, the crocodile it, are, is big, so super big. This uh, is one of the most important characteristics where it's going to make uh, protection, right? So the size, the skin, the characteristics. Uh, next question, reptiles and amphibians are two different classes of animals. What do you think scientists classify animals or separate them into groups? Why? Because our two classes, right? We have amphibians and reptiles. It's one order. But one of the most important is that amphibians live in two places. Reptiles live in two places, but the reptiles adapt better in hot places. And other amphibians, no, can survive, but they need to return. Or if they are babies, they are going to die. I, 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 I want you to understand, yeah, they are very similar, right? But characteristic is the size. Reptiles, different sizes from amphibians. And the adaptation in hot places. Okay, important. So this is the lesson three. Love you so much. This is the video of 11 minutes. Bye bye. See you in the next class in the meet and discuss the questions. Love you.